Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our physics class. For new members, my name is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. So, in today's class, we are just going to have our physics revision class 2022-2023 physics 1015 exam solution. So, this is the paper where they had a question from momentum which is a topic we did yesterday during our physics uh, lecture class and then for physics 1010 what i noticed is that a question on momentum they had to cancel it so i did not consider it for revision so before I move on, I'm kindly asking if one of you can confirm if you guys can get me or not. Alright, thank you very much guys. We can look at the question of interest. So the, so the question is, during an automobile crash test, a car of mass 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 kg collides with a wall and rebound as in as in the diagram below the initial and final speed of the car are 15 meters per second at 2.6 meters per second respectively if the collision lasts for only 0.15 second find the and then we have been given those um those values which we we have so we are going to start with the first part so i'll write my solution there i'll write my solution so i'll collect my data that's the first thing i always do when solving physics question i'll collect my data the mass the mass is simply equal to 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 which is the same as 1 um 1500 kg so that was the mass then we have been given the the initial acceleration so the initial acceleration i can use u which is simply equal to 15 meters per second which was the initial velocity then we have the final velocity which is 2.6 so v is simply equal to 2.6 meters per second the time which we have been given time is simply equal to um, 0 0.15 second so if you look at everything there everything there it is according to the to the to the si units so i don't have to stress because everything has been found for me so find the moment the momentum of the car before the impact so we know that momentum momentum which is represented by something that look like a p is simply equal to um the mass simply equal to mass times the, the velocity mass times the velocity and in this case we are going to say momentum is simply equal to the mass which is 1500 kg 1500 kg times the initial velocity in this particular case was simply 15 meters per second so our momentum um our momentum before the collision was simply 1500 times 15 which is simply equal to 222 500 um, kg dot meters per second dot meters per second so this was the this was the 
initial momentum okay i think this is clear i don't know if you guys have a question do you guys have a question any question please do we have a question Sir, I've got a question on the SIS. Yes. Why did you put kg dot ms? Okay, kg dot ms, a dot is simply standing for multiply. Simply standing for multiply. I think in our lecture class, which we had yesterday, it wasn't a dot, but it was something like kg slash m s so like that so the kg is coming from the mass the m um slash s is coming from the velocity is that clear yes sir thank you you're welcome Okay, let me quickly look at the next part. Uh, momentum of the car after the impact. So we still have P um, is simply equal to, you know, the mass. Make sure that you write the formula times the velocity, mass times the velocity. So in this particular case, P is simply equal to the mass which is um which is 1500 the mass which is 1500 times the uh, the final velocity which is 2.6 so p is simply equal to so if you do your calculation which is uh, 1500 times 2.6 what you are having is just simply 3900 kg um, dot meters per second or you can represent it in this form you can say three three hundred three thousand nine hundred then you say kg meter over second so you can write it in that particular form so either ways your answer is correct so the major guy which was cutting marks is the formula your calculation and also the si unit so that was the answer for this question same thing so we can move on and look at the next part we can move on and look at the next part the next part is the impulse um the impulse delivered to the car due to the collision so you can see there are some seven marks there so the seven marks there so you can simply say impulse is simply equal to change in momentum change in momentum okay impulse is equal to change in momentum and then you know that impulse is simply equal to you you have the initial momentum initial momentum initial momentum momentum minus c final momentum minus c final momentum so that's um the formula and then this means that we are going to have impulse is simply equal to m u minus c m v m u minus c m v some people might try it m v i m v final it's all the same so this will give us the the guy we had from the previous calculations which was 22 500 so 22500 minus c the other guy which was 3900 so 3900 like that so from here 
you can do your calculations you can do your calculations so you can simply say 22 500 minus c 3900 so this is simply giving you 8600 um 600 yeah 8600 so uh, if you look at the 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 what the si units of the the same guy impulse it is the same guy which is uh kg kg meters per second okay kg meters per second or you you or you have to know that this guy is also the same as force times um times time which is the same as newton second newton second but in this case we'll simply go with the one which is here which is kg meters per second then I'll go for my last guy, which is a D. A D is uh, average force exerted on the car during the impact. So you're going to say um, impulse, okay? Impulse is also equal to force times what times time. Force times e time. So in that particular case, you're going to say. Uh, force times time is simply equal to that other formula which is mu minus c mv okay so after having such a formula you're going to say force is simply equal to you're going to get your time which is here the, the value which we have not utilized any at any particular point so 1.5 is simply equal to you you write that guy the value which we found which was 18 uh which was 18 6 18 6 so once you do that you can easily say this and that is 0 0.15 force is simply equal to 18,600 so over 0 0.15 over 0 0.15 so this one and that one will go the force will simply be equal to what 8, 18,600 divided by 0 0.15 is simply equal to 1 124,000 Newton, which is the same as 124 kilo newtons. So 124 kilo newtons. So either of the answers are correct. So ladies and gentlemen, um, this is the application of what we learned yesterday. And this is math. Oh, sorry. This is physics 1015. In physics 1010, the question on momentum was cancelled, so I did not get it to utilize it. But there are so many questions on momentum which I'm going to, to solve. So for now, if you have any question after the class, for those who are going to have a question after a class, you are free to, to WhatsApp me on either of those lines. And for those who are in class, you can simply um, ask now in case you have a question.